Good morning. Welcome back to our kitchen. Lauren and I are joining you this morning to talk about one of our favorite vegetables. And actually, Lauren, it reminded me of a little joke, so I thought I would share it with you. What do you get when you cross a dog with a plant? I don't know, Steph. What do you get? Cauliflower. <laughs> Love that. I'm going to keep that one in mind. <laughs> I spent the weekend with my nieces, so I had all sorts of fun little things that I can throw into today's, uh, today's video. Can't so. wait to hear more of those. <laughs> Tell me all yes, about it. Yes, we are talking about cauliflower today, which I don't know if you um, read about this yet, but it's actually one of the hottest or trendiest foods of 2015. I didn't. So finally, cauliflower is taking the spotlight a little bit, every dietitian's dream. Right. Um, so cauliflower is really great because it's super nutritious, as we would expect and heard from when we were little. Um, it's packed with vitamin C, which is obviously great this time of year. Vitamin K, folate, fiber, some phytochemicals. So overall, it's, it's really a good for you food. It's interesting because I think a lot of times you think a white vegetable, there can't be much in there at all, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Exactly. So white foods oftentimes get a bad rap, but cauliflower is definitely the exception. Awesome. Um, so in the store, you're going to find cauliflower in these big heads like we've always seen, mm -hmm. and they're usually always plastic wrapped. So oftentimes they all kind of look very similar, but what you want to do to pick out a good one is you want to lift it up and feel it. It should be a little bit heavy and very dense. Okay. Um, and then you also want to evaluate what's called these curds here. So um, as Wait you a can minute. See, curds? Yes, they... not cheese curds. No. Curds, cauliflower curds. I always thought they were called florets. Florets are actually um, when you cut off the stem, and they, um, these are actually florets right here. Okay. But the very tops of what we're talking about here, almost like the skin, is called the curd. So they're all very little, and they're really kind of fun to look at. They're not the prettiest, No, but, but it makes sense, so learn something new every day. Yes, so we want to evaluate the curds and make sure they're very compact and that they're not separated at all. Okay. Um, we, also ask, act, uh, excuse me. we also want to make sure that there's no brown spots, um, so make sure that it's a nice white creamy color. Excellent. The other important thing to evaluate, which a lot of people wouldn't think about, is the leaves. So the leaves, the more leaves there are and the greener they are, the more um, protected the cauliflower is. Um, so that's actually a little bit fresher then. That's a great tip. I would have never looked for that on cauliflower before today. Very interesting. So um, with the leaves, while we're talking about them, they're edible, obviously, like mm -hmm. any other leaf or lettuce would be. Um, but most people don't really eat the leaves of cauliflower. But what you can do is you can put the leaves and the stems in things like soup to give it a little bit more flavor. So I would probably just discard them unless I was making something like that. So you sure. can also keep them, though, too. It's a great way to reduce waste, though. Yes, definitely. Um, so when you get your cauliflower home, if you're not going to use it right away, you can put it in your fridge and store it upright like this mm -hmm. um, for up to a week. And keep it in the plastic bag. Yes, definitely. We don't want moisture to develop, so keeping it in the plastic bag is best. Um, but if you are going to use it right away, I'm going to show you how to cut it. All right. So we got this big head of cauliflower here. So what we want to do first before cutting it is peel off all these leaves. And you can see under here there's a big stem. And you need to get all of them off? For the most part, yes, so we can kind of get at the stem here. And okay. We got kind of one big one left for the most part. A couple smaller ones. Kind of like peeling a, a head of corn. Oh, I didn't even think about that. But it, <laughs> That's it what I feel like I'm doing. Like yeah. That. So as you can see here, we have this big stem. Mm -hmm. So first, we need to chop that off. And there's that. And we still kind of have some on here, but we'll kind of get to that later. But All as right. long as it's flat, that we can kind of slice it, it up. Makes it safer for cutting purposes. Yes, definitely. So now it's not rolling all around like it was before. So we're going to want to slice it in half one time, like this, and then. We're going to slice it one more time, so it's in quarters. Hopefully, don't want them to go flying everywhere. So here we have it, and now it's in quarters. Uh -huh. So I'm going to kind of move these out of the way here, just so we can okay. kind of see. So this is called the stem mm -hmm. of the cauliflower. So we are going to get all our little florets off by kind of getting rid of that stem. And as you can see, once you kind of start slicing them, they, they kind, kind of, of fall just apart fall perfectly. Apart. Yes. Um, so. After we start, you can see like obviously some are bigger than the other, mm -hmm. and then some are a little bit smaller because they just kind of break. That's perfect. I've never done this properly at home so before in my life. <laughs> if this were me, I would kind of want to trim some of these up, but again, sure, they don't have to necessarily all be uniform. No. All right, so with this then, um, you would wash them at this point? Yes, definitely. Okay. So you want to wash it um, after you cut it into the florets. Okay. And then once you have the florets, now that they're washed, they're going to stay good for about uh, three to four days in the refrigerator, and then cooked ones are going to stay good for about two or three days. All right. So from that, 
I know this creates a lot of florets. So one of the things that I do at home, uh, because it's just my husband and myself, we actually buy from Fresh Cut so that we don't have the extra waste. But I think if we were making a recipe like we're going to do now, there I would buy a whole head because roasted cauliflower just sounds delicious. Yes, so. and one cauliflower head will yield about three to four cups. So. Okay. Quite a bit, but we're gonna just for um, convenience sake today just use the, the fresh cut you can find in our produce department. These are all already cut up. We're gonna throw these in here. So we're making roasted cauliflower. You can certainly eat cauliflower raw, but I just love it roasted in the oven with a little bit of olive oil, which is what we're adding. And we're using a good olive oil, a little bit more expensive one for good flavor. A little bit of pepper. I mean, this is super simple, but no I mean, it tastes delicious. All right, so you put the salt in and then... Yep, you just kind of mix it up then, just to kind of... Make sure everything's coated. Yes, evenly coated. So you could certainly drizzle this all on the pan that we would be baking this in. Um, I like to do it in a bowl just so it gets a little bit more uniform and kind of soaks in a little bit more. All right, so you actually did this already, so we don't have to watch it cook. Yes, exactly. So I'll let you take that back there and yes. grab the... Get rid of this. Time so to taste. So this is super easy. With that, you just put it on the sheet, you put parchment down. So we can go ahead and taste this. Mm -hmm. and, and we put a little Parmesan cheese on top too, which you Oh, can... that's what the brown is. Yes, okay. so just to give it a little bit more flavor. So I'm gonna try to find a good one here. Oh, and they're cooked just right. Mm. Wow, that is perfect. Like you said, that Parmesan cheese is just enough. If you would like any additional information about cauliflower, or if you have any questions for us, you can ask our dietitians at festfoods.com. I think we're going to eat the rest of this cauliflower, no aren't we? This it's is awesome. Delicious. Back to you guys.